up everyone welcome to my stream so here we are um, let's see here let me adjust something real quick or not that's nah, probably fine all right cool so what we're gonna do is we're going to create something with some stuff I downloaded what's up Zach so I have some photos of Jamal Murray that I'm going to use and essentially I've downloaded some photos of him already okay don't need that all right so I've got some photos here of him already that I'm going to use but first things first we need a canvas so I usually do 2,000 by 2,500 at 300, um, but a couple people say they do it a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna make mine 3,001 by 3,751, just so my canvas is bigger than theirs. All right, so here's pretty much how I work. So I have these photos of Murray here, um, and I've got a bunch in here. These are already downloaded from the internet. Let me change the way we view this it's a gallery what's up Dan so I've got these photos of Jamal Murray here now when I'm looking for photos I've got some of these cut out already but when I'm looking for photos I'm trying to find something that has emotion to it so like this photo is pretty sweet this photo here I think is the next secondary he looks kind of stupid up here but we can play around with that yes Dan such a fan um, so I have some photos of Murray here and then I've got some inspiration and some assets so I found some just like random stuff on Pinterest that I thought was cool let me do this too oh that's much better that's way better okay so I found these posters that are I just found on Pinterest They're very Bauhaus um, old school I just like this blur in the background so a lot of the times when I make something I try to have an idea of what I want to make ahead of time or I just get inspired by stuff so I like this stuff here um, so I might start with something like that I usually put the players in and edit them first so actually what I'm going to do is I've got this photo here so this is a pretty sweet photo cutest designer in the game Dan I'm gonna kick you out of here you keep acting that way. <laughs> Garrett, block report and mute him. All right, so we've got Jamal Murray down here. So I like to set up the composition first with my players. Um, a lot of what I do, if you actually look at what I do, a lot of stuff is it's very similar. Um, I usually have a big item of the player, a little item of the player, or a little photo of the player, and then stuff to go around it. So you can see here I'm setting up my composition big player little player and then we go off of that so I've been thinking about what I want to do with this so first things first is we've got these guys here um, I might use some of these other photos as some texture in the background but I have some other assets here as well so I got a photo of the Denver skyline um, he plays for the Denver Nuggets so I found a bunch of these golden basketballs and then I have a chain link fence which is always good to have um, this is a, a court, which you can't see because it's white. Um, I got their logo and then some other stuff that has to do with Denver. And then I have a photo of his signature because I usually put that on something. And I have a bank vault. I had an idea for doing something with a bank vault. So first things first, I'm going to cut this guy out. So there's a couple ways you can cut someone out. There's the good way we like, and then there's the bad way we don't like. So some people use the pen tool. <laughs> but I'm not gonna use the pen tool, I'm gonna use the quick select. Because the quick select's way better. So I'm going to hit W, and for this I'm just gonna hit select subject, and it's going to select most of what I want for me. Yeah, Zach, this is going to be on my YouTube. So if you use quick select, it'll select anything it thinks is in focus. So I'm just gonna hold down the option key and just erase Kyle Lowry here. And it's just going to quickly deselect him. And now we pretty much just have Jamal Murray on here. 
So we've got Jamal Murray. So this is what I do. I'll go in and I'll get a general selection of him. Kind of like this. So there, general selection, sounds good. And then I'm going to go to the quick select. And then I have some settings I like to use. I'm gonna use one as a radius for edge detection. Smooth, I'm gonna do like six. I'm gonna feather it 0.4. What's up, Bev? Dev neg negative three. So I'm gonna quickly go in here and I like to use the brush and the refined selection brush selected. And you should be able to tell what is part of his jersey and what is not. And the cool thing is if you don't know if it's part of his jersey, no one else will know either. So if you cut it out, no one will be the wiser. So I'm gonna cut this guy out. And I might spend a good amount of time doing this. I'm gonna do this real quick, which is why it's called the quick select. Wow! And then I'll be able to put it into composition a little bit faster. I got some people telling me the stream is a bit laggy, so let me see if I can fix that. Let me see if I can troubleshoot that for a second. I tried this earlier and it seemed fine, but this video seemed to work earlier. We'll see what everyone says. Let me know in chat if you guys are having issues with the stream and, and if you are seeing it fine. It might be a little bit laggy, but you'll be able to get the idea of what is going on. And this is gonna be uploaded to my YouTube channel afterwards so you can watch it after the fact as well. What's up X the best? All right, so this area is a little weird. So I'm just gonna use the refine edge brush and click and drag and it's going to clip out most of it for me, whoops. So what I'm doing here is I'm just clicking to add to the selection and I'm holding down the Alt or Option key to um, add in the pink or take away the pink. And I use pink as my color, it's default by red, but I was clipping out a player with red so it, um, it blurred in a lot, or blended in, so I, I changed it to pink. So I'm using the Refine Edge tool here and it's gonna get rid of most of this for me. We can see here. So we'll just go here. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect, especially if you're making something small. You know, this all looks pretty good. You know, this right here is a little weird, so I might use the Refine Edge brush. And what the Refine Edge brush is actually doing is it's looking on the inside and the outside of where this cursor is. And it's basically going to get rid of the difference and make it so it's um, or it's not going to do that. So it's going to get rid of the black that's in between it. I'm going to go in here and make this a little bit smaller. All right, I'm going here. The good thing is that you can always just go in and make sharp corners like that pretty simply. Now we're at his hair. Here's the worst part. So we'll go like this and just use the Refine Edge brush. And look, it's just like complete chaos, but we'll fix that and fudge around with it a little bit because who knows where his hair actually is too. His mom probably knows what his hair actually looks like. See, like this is not his hair here, so we'll get rid of that. I'm gonna put his earlobe back in. This is why I like studio shots, because their hair is a lot easier to cut out. All right, so here's one. So now I have mine set to output to layer mask. So if I do that automatically, here he is cut out. Big old fringe around him, so I'm gonna hold down the option key um, not option key, I'm gonna hold down the command key. Let me click here. And it's going to select him, select all of him. So if I go to select, modify, contract, and what I can do is I can contract by one pixel. I can hit shift command I to invert the selection, delete everything, make sure black is your background color, not your foreground color, and it'll get rid of that fringe. So now that fringe is gone. So now we got his hair to deal with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the option key, which is going to select your selection. And I'm going to use a brush set to overlay. So if you change it to overlay up here and set the percentage to like 20. If you have white, it's gonna paint in the inside and get rid of some of the outside and add a little bit of contrast. If you make it black, it does the opposite. So it adds black to it. So 
I'm gonna go in here and sort of refine that edge a little bit. So like, that's not bad. And again, if you're zoomed out, you're not really gonna be able to notice it. So I'm gonna save this out and I'm gonna save this as Jamal Dribble. And I'll just save that to my desktop. What I like to do is then I'll go in here, right click, replace contents, Jamal Dribble, PSD.PSD, now he's cut out. So we're gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna hit select subject, it selects all of him, hit selected mask. See, this is why I like using the select subject <laughs> over the um, pen tool because you can just make this selection in like half a second and then go in and refine stuff after that. Dan, if you can make my brother a mod, go ahead and make him a mod. I did not make him a mod, I made you a mod though. So bear with me as I go in here and clip this guy out. That's pretty good. You can see here it's a little, little wonky, so I like to just blast up the size of my brush and just hit it with the edge. Because it's a pretty flat edge, actually. You know, a, a big round brush. I'm gonna do this here. Right here looks a little weird. You know, we're missing a little bit of his jersey there. But again, most of the stuff you're not gonna be able to tell, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And we got his hair again. Now there's another way you can do the hair, depending on the photo, but that'll work. If you turn, on the, if you turn down the smoothness, it'll help a little bit with the, the hair as well. So I'm gonna hit okay. We got him cut out. I'm gonna select this again. Select modify contract, one pixel, and just delete the background. And then we'll go in and I'll hold down the option key again, click on the mask, and then use a white or black brush at a low opacity to paint back in spots of his hair like this, and then paint around to get rid of anything that's fringing on that. And there's a little spot right here in his hand that's just completely broken and looks stupid. So I'm just gonna use a normal brush with the mask selected at 100% and do this. Wow, see how bad I am at this? Like, what? <laughs> see, I have black and black selected. So I'm gonna hit D, so it actually puts white in there and I can get rid of this tiny black area there. Hey Jordan, how's it going? Okay, so you can see here, that, that doesn't look right. So I can just paint back in with white where his finger is. Hit X to switch colors. And paint his finger back in. All right, cool. So then we're gonna do this, save this to the desktop as Jamal back. Didn't spell it right, but who cares, it doesn't matter. Uh, then we're going to replace contents of that and select Jamal back. All right, so now we've got the start of what our composition is going to look like. I'm going to duplicate this Jamal, and I'll show you why. Because so I'm gonna take this one, mask it. I'm gonna get rid of it so he's masked nice down here, so it's a nice transition, but I'm going to add this one back in. I'm gonna hold down the Alt key to get rid of everything and mask it completely. And then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna paint his arm back in. That way there's a mask and he fades out, but his arms are in front. So it adds a little bit of depth to whatever you're working on. And I'll go back in and I'll edit these photos once they're actually in. I hope you learn a lot with this X the best. This should be a lot to absorb and I'm gonna move pretty quickly. I do have other videos on my channel like I have a video on how to cut people out and I have a video on how I edit photos. So I'm gonna do it the quick way just so you can see me designing in real time. Cause you know, it might take me 15 or 20 minutes to cut these people out depending on how accurate I want to be. Let's go like this. Oops, fix that. Hope everyone had a great day today. I saw recently that the uh, baseball writers decided not to elect anyone to the Baseball Hall of Fame because they all suck. 
and they need to change how they do the Hall of Fame voting. Because Barry Bonds and Kurt Schilling were very close. See, like I'm taking my sweet old time to make sure this looks good. The issue is there's a lot of contrast with his jersey and his arm. So you can really tell when it doesn't work out. So I can zoom out here. Zoom in. I really actually don't like how this looks, so. I might just lower this. Yeah, we'll do that. I can go in here and be a little less accurate with it. I don't think there's a best time to design. It's really depending on when you're feeling creative. Um, I think I designed best after I had a lot of caffeine, so mine's right in the middle of the afternoon or late at night. I'm gonna cover that with something so we can't see it anyway. This isn't on Twitch. The reason I don't have this on Twitch is because I have never used Twitch before and I've got 2,000 followers on here. So I figured there'd be more people to follow along here on Twitch. More people who know who I am instead of strangers. Let me do that. Okay, so what I like to do, so I'm gonna edit these guys now. Yeah, I got these yesterday. Um, they were on sale on Best Buy. So I bought these yesterday. Hello, Lucas. Welcome from Brazil. All right, so there's a bunch of different ways that you can design or edit, edit photos. And I've been changing up my process um, recently. Yeah, the best day to design is a day that ends in Y or an hour that ends in o'clock. So I have, if you don't know, I have some actions that I use. So I like to use this BG, BJD2 and I've tweaked some of the settings on it. And then I use a bit of a yellow fix to fix the color of his yellow. So I have here a slightly edited photo of him. So if I hit a couple buttons real quick, turn off on, you can see a little bit of the editing as already as well. I'm gonna go in here with a little bit of selective color, add a little bit of cyan back into it. His skin tone was a little wonky, so I'm going to tweak that just a little bit so he's not so magenta. PSPT, the only time I yeah, I've made some stuff I probably didn't love and I didn't post it. Most of the stuff I don't really care and just sort of experimenting, but it's if it's for a client and I'm not in love with it, but it's what they want, then I kind of have to go with it. The actions are available in two places. They're available on Creative Market, or you can get them on my website for cheaper. So if you just go to bradleyjackdesign.com, you can get them. Um, I'm noticing a couple things with this, like, like what is this? Like, like that's, that's really sus. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna fix that. I'm just gonna go into the smart object and I am going to paint part of his hand back in because his hand is completely gone. And this is where all the pen tool people would come in and say that you should have used the pen tool. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'll just go in and fix it with a brush. Fine. We don't, this is a safe zone. We don't mention the pen tool in our chat. Um, no. The pen tool for the win. Like, no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 No. There will be no pen tool, no quick slick slander in this chat. Um, okay, so what do I wanna do with this? I've been noticing that my, um, my designs have been a little dark, so I've been adding a little bit of the curves to brighten up the darker areas. See, Cole's, Cole knows what he's talking about. Hi, <laughs> you're welcome, Daniel. I got a bunch of random, random stuff on here I figured you guys might like. So, 
Here's some quick general edits of him. So this is before and this is after. It's already a little bit better, a little bit more contrast and stuff. I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm going to hit him with the old Dan Beltran special. I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna fix the whites of his eyes. Dear God. Is that what I want this to look like? Is that what this is doing? That looks, that looks terrible. Hold on. Let me fix this. I'm gonna go to the yellows. I'm gonna use the eyedropper, select his eyes. I'm just gonna desaturate it a bunch and brighten it just a teeny bit. I am the king of sound effects. This is this is factual. And anytime anyone wants to mention the Chicago Bears, I will not be mad. Stop Bears! Stop Bears! What's up, Henry? One thing I like to do with the photos, depending on them, I'll take the curves and bump them up a bit, hit Command I to get rid of it, and then I'll just hit them, hit them in the eyes, a little bit. Look at that! See how cool that looks. I'll paint the pupil back out. I think that might be a little too much. All right. So there's a little bit of editing on him. Actually, his teeth are kind of disgusting based on the editing. Watching the goat live in action. There are eight designers I can name right now that aren't on this stream, so I would disagree. <laughs> All right, so we got him edited. So I can go back to our main design and he's already edited on here because he's a smart object. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna do the same edits. So I'm gonna use this action here Fix it with the yellows. The skin looks a little bit better there. I'm gonna brighten up the darks completely. We're gonna go here. Double click for the blending options. Hold down the option key to drag over so it's only affecting the dark spots. And you can see we're just sort of brightening up the whole image. You can probably just do this in camera raw too. But I'm just gonna do it here. So we got those there. I think his skin looks a little bizarre. So I'm gonna go and tweak that with a little bit of selective color. So when I was desaturating, I'll do it again with his eyes and his teeth. Yeah, I like to go in, hue and saturation, select yellow, then the eyedropper and just click the area you want. Most of the times it's gonna be a little bit more yellow. Um, so we've got that. I turn it on and off. Oh, I didn't change anything, so it's not gonna show anything. Brighten it up a little bit, get rid of everything. Go back in. Again, I'm doing this a little quick because I wanna show you some actual design process and design thought instead of just clipping people out with the pen tool as you should. One more thing I will do though. Um, let's do another hue and saturation layer yellows. I'm going to select all this stuff there and desaturate it. That looks terrible. Get rid of everything and I'm going to paint away this overcast from the photo. So basically I'm going to do this. Look at that. See how much nicer that looks? You can also do this with a layer set to color and sample a different part of his jersey. Henry, what did you hear? What did I say? I'm just gonna fix this. Fix some of the coloring over here. This is one way of doing it. You can also just make a new layer, set it to color, and select a part of his jersey that you think isn't saturated with this color. And once you add on stuff to the top of this stuff, you really start to see where it is like in here I'm gonna stop here there's probably an area I might come back and fix later that looks pretty good for now except I want to do one last thing oops adjustments curves turn this up oh yeah I don't think I said anything about cutting them out with a pen tool that definitely did not happen <laughs> 
All right, so let's go in here and we'll just boost the eyes. Look at that. See, look how cool that looks. Doesn't that look cool, guys? Pull it back out. A little too much. Drop it back down a little bit. Save. And here we go. All right. So we've got a little bit of a kind of composition going on. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it. Um, Making a black and white layer and setting it to light and color or something like that. You can set it to just hue or color and paint it in. Um, it would work. Either would work. So I'm going to group these together and name these Back Jamal. And then I'm going to have this guy in the front here. So we've got our composition set up. We've got a big guy, little guy. So when we see this graphic for the first time, we're going to see, we're going to be drawn in with big here and then focus on the little here. And then we might add something here. I'm going to do that now because it's something I usually add to everything. So I'm just going to take this photo and I'm going to throw a signature in here. So I'm going to add a gradient map. And what we can do is make it black and white. So we have this black and white gradient map. Usually I'll tweak the gradient map, but this card's white, so I don't really need to do much, but I am going to change it. I'm just gonna drag it in a little bit, and then drag it out, and then hold down the option key, group these together, and then I'm gonna mask out everything except for the signature. Of course I lost my cursor because I had caps lock on. There's a reason I'm doing Jamal Murray. It's not gonna end up being the main reason I was going to. But I'm going to, I wanted to do something with yellow. So yellow is a color of the Denver Nuggets. So maybe I'll add that in the background, but I've decided I wanna go a little different of a route. So what I like to do for signatures, which is a golden combination. There's no better duo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, well, I'll just make this a smart object for no reason. Command I to invert it. I'm gonna copy it, go to the channels, make a new channel, paste it. So we've got an alpha channel now. So if I hold down the option key, not the option key, the command key, it will select whatever's white. So I've made it contrast so only the signature was white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to fill that with yellow because I wanted a yellow signature. So here's a yellow signature. Now that's not the exact yellow I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in the Nuggets logo and I'm gonna just select whatever that color is and I'll just add a color overlay because I don't wanna change. I don't know why I thought this is gonna do anything. I'm just gonna add a color overlay so it doesn't affect the crispness of that selection. Actually, I'm gonna turn this into a smart object first. I need to turn Nuggets logo back on. Then I can go down to color overlay. And then I can just select that yellow. So now we have his signature in yellow right there. So that's why I, I do it the way I did it. I could have just set it to multiply if I wanted to keep it black, but I wanted to keep it and make it a different color. Yes, there's a whole, I've got a whole different video on my YouTube, Henry, of just showing how to do signatures. It's exactly what I just showed you, um, but I explain it in more than 30 seconds. So we've got a signature here. So now we need some stuff going on in the background. So there's a bunch of stuff we can do, but I showed you that I wanted to do something with some of this inspiration. So I've got some stuff here. I like this block text, so I wanted to use this. Um, and then I wanted to add some of these gradient stuff in the background. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna keep this stuff hidden. I'm gonna hide all this stuff. I'm gonna do something that I saw on the internet. Uh, let's make this black. This is not how the pen tool works. Sorry, the brush. Make sure that 
when you're using the brush tool that your mode is set to normal and not overlay because then it's not going to do anything and that you have it set to the percentage you want so we've got black there let's make another one make it bigger like that let's make another one and do that that's not what I wanted black convert to smart object convert to smart objects new layer this is the part where I'm just experimenting I've never done what I'm showing you right now before so I'm just experimenting here to see what is going to work for what I want to try with this all right so we need the nuggets logo back so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a gradient map boom gradient map black and white sweet except we're gonna make the gradient map this is I hate this I do this all the time so make sure when you're using the gradient map, if you want to change the colors, you don't have the mask selected. You have the actual gradient map selected. So I'll go in here. And now if I pick a color, it's actually going to change to that color. I'm going to add another color of the red. And I'm going to add another color of the yellow. Except I didn't change the color, so it's still there. Click. There we go. Add color. Add red. Okay, sounds good. So now we have this weird weirdness going on in the background which is what I wanted to do I just wanted weird stuff and I can move these around and look you've got weird stuff going on except I don't like how that looks at all so let me get rid of this and slide this over there we go this is more kind of like what the inspiration looked like just some like random blurred objects in the background like this. I can duplicate these, make them a little bit smaller. Yeah, they do look like weird microscope photos. So we've got some stuff like this. So that like kind of looks like this, not really, but kind of. Um, I can go in here and just use another brush and just paint in some areas. Maybe not. So what do we want to do now? We got some of this stuff. Cool, we could do some cool stuff with some shapes. That's not a bad idea. All right, let's blow the logo up, because why not? Logos are always good to have in designs, except I accidentally threw it in the back Jamal. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, our basement's done, so this is my, my work area. Um, it is here. I don't like how this stuff looks at all, so I'm gonna actually get rid of that. All right, Nuggets logo. We can put that there. Let's see here, what do I wanna do? Let's add these back. Let's take these. Let's make a new layer. Let's fill it with some gray. Let's right click, convert to smart object, filter noise, add noise. Let's do three and let's set this to multiply for Gaussian blur. Multiply, let's do a little bit of a levels layer because I made it too dark. Shoot this back up. Huh. Okay, I don't like how this is going. I'm gonna go with something I was gonna do originally, or not originally. All right, let's center up Jamal. Throw this here, got him in the back. Let's throw Jamal on the floor. So I'm gonna hit new smart object, be a copy. I'm gonna go in here. Delete this layer mask, and I'm gonna tweak the canvas size. I'm just gonna bump it out a bit like this. I'll show you what I'm doing. Yeah, 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 crop, crop, crop. Do 
do the same thing here. Usually I edit the images before I cut them out. So that's why this is a little bit of a different part of my process. Crop, come back. We don't need this open anymore. We don't need this open or this open or this. Okay, there we go. All right, we're back where we were. So what I did essentially was I just got rid of, I basically added in the background. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a black and white gradient map to that. Black and white. I'm gonna set that layer to multiply. I'm gonna mask it out. I'm gonna go in here, lower the brush or make it a, a thin brush like that. Put like a 20% brush back in and boom, look, he's grounded. You're grounded, go to your room. So we've got him here. Look at that, that's nice, right? Looks kind of good, looks kind of cool. Nice classic composition. Got back Jamal here. Let's put the Nuggets logo over here now just because. Put it in the background. Um, I make some of my brushes. Um, so let me go to my brushes. Let me show you. New layer. <laughs> I get my brushes in my wish. Dan, you gotta, you gotta quit it. Just wow. wow, Dan. So here are my brushes. I've got general brushes. I've got some brushes that Ethan J had available to download. Um, I got Thatcher Max stitching brushes on here. I've got some brushes from Creative Market. And then a lot of these are just legacy brushes or just brushes that I've made. So there's a bunch in here I've made as well. So here's our composition. Zoom in so you guys can actually see it on this screen. All right, so what I wanna do here, I've got him here looking all cool. Let's just, let's just blur this. Let's just blow this up and put it in the corner and blur it because I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to do that anyway. Gaussian blur. Let's set it to like 10 pixels. Uh, let's do 15. Yeah, I haven't gotten any photos or any brushes from Envato yet, but I've gotten some from Creative Market. Um, they usually have free ones you can download. I've also gotten some from a website. I got these fold brushes from them. The name is escaping me from where it is. All right, anyway, so we've got this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these assets. All right, so I found this bank vault photo. I got this from Envato. So they're the Denver Nuggets. So a bank vault makes sense. So we'll put a bank vault there. We'll move this guy over here. Let me fix something real quick. There we go, all right. And then I wanted to put a bunch of these basketballs in here just because it'd be cool. And I download all these basketballs from Envato as well. So the composition size, it doesn't matter what you specifically use, but I'm using a four by five ratio because that's what Instagram uses. So everything I use is in a four by five ratio. This document is 3,001 pixels by 3,751, um, just because Garrett and Dan use 3,000 by 750 or 3,750. So mine's bigger. <laughs> anyone make a new GMO every week so they can get 10 free photos off Adobe stock. I don't really like Adobe stock. I think I've looked at a couple things I have on there and I just don't like any of it. Okay, so what I wanna do is this vault door is silver, which is all in good, but I don't want it to be silver. I want it to be gold because it's the Denver Nuggets, like, duh. So let's see what this looks like. Turn the nuggets back on, go here, adjustments. We're gonna change the color with the gradient map. I'm gonna do black and white so the tones are all the same. I'm gonna hit okay and then go back to it so it's clipped directly. 
I can turn the mic off if you guys need. Um, it's at here. Hold on. There. I should be a little bit louder. Um, so I want to change it to be yellow. So as you can see, that looks amazing. It's exactly what I wanted. But I'm just going to drag it over until it looks how I want. Hit OK. Go back to the gradient map. Change this yellow color to an actual gold color because it looks stupid. And then we'll go down here and we'll select a darker color. We'll move this over. Still don't really like how that looks, but we'll go ahead and we'll change that with a selective color mask. So let me go to, let me add some magenta. Looks a little bit better, add some yellow. Get rid of some cyan, that looks better. All right, there. Now we have a gold vault door. And I'm gonna take that gold vault door. I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm going to add a color overlay, set to black. And then I'm going to blur it. Now uh, let's do, sorry, some of my stuff's over there. Let's do 10 pixels. Then we're gonna blur it again, except we're gonna do a motion blur at 90 degrees. At 150 pixels, that's fine. And then let's just do it again. Let's just add another motion blur. And let's do, I don't know, 50 pixels. And then I'm just gonna move it down so we've got this nice, cool little shadow set to multiply at, I don't know, 50%. If I get rid of back Jamal, you can kind of see it. A little bit better than just, uh, uh, what are they called? Drop shadows? <laughs> Drop shadows. So I've got that there. So now what I'm gonna do, I need a floor. Let me go to my assets. Um, stock images. Let's go here. Floors. So there's a bunch of floors I have. Just gotta find the right one I want. Here, I'll use this like hilariously generic one. Like, look at this. Look how generic that is. Actually, I like using this hilariously generic one. Hey, Gavin, how's it going? All right, so we'll toss this back here. Above all the stuff in the background, let's just put this like real generic background down here. And then let's make it black and white. Let's boost it a bunch so you can barely see it. Change some of the colors. Yeah, that's better. Apply it to only the background. And we're just gonna mask out this top part. So if we're gonna do it to the whole image, not just the gradient map, or else it's not gonna do anything. All right, so we'll go back here. So we've got like a nice little background to it. I don't like how that looks. I'm gonna make an actual wall. I'm gonna give that a hard edge. <laughs> I'm not gonna put Bernie Sanders in here. That has been overdone. Now I like to use stuff I've used in graphics before. So what I'm going to do, set this to multiply. No, let's not do that. Let's see here. Make a new layer. I like to select this background color for stuff from time to time. I can just do this actually. Set that to multiply on off. Move it up a little bit. Actually, no, I'm gonna do this. Mask that, take it out here, duplicate it. Flip it around. Put this down here, zoom in, and align this stuff up. I really hate how that grain looks. So you've got a little bit of a Did not like that. A little bit of a wall now. Move this down a little bit. Put 
let's select the top of this mask and get rid of it. Slash put it back in. That looks better. All right, so we've got a little bit of an edge, a little bit of a lip down there now. So it kind of looks like he's actually standing on something. Some say National Treasure like a vault. Okay, so let me put this, I'm gonna put this vault dead center in the middle. Did you know if you hit Command A and select everything, it'll It'll snap to the center of your composition. So now I can put this directly in the middle. So now it's directly in the middle. So we have the vault door, we've got the signature. I'm going to add something to the back. I've got some grain textures in here. Can I make these bigger? I was probably end I was probably gonna end up always doing this with this vault. Here's some grain. We'll put that on top of this. There's no layer down here, that's always fun. Alright, let's blow up some of this grain. I'll make it 10%. I barely want to see it. Alright, good. So we've got Jamal here. Let's see, put him more in the center like that. We'll bump the vault door up a little bit so it's not reachable by, by, not reachable by human hands. I like it, but it needs more pop. All right, you need more pop? All right, I'm gonna add a color lookup of Kodak 5218 Kodak 2395 by Adobe. And I'm gonna set it to 50%. 50 you want to fill the area with white space. We can. All right. I like the ground better then if we're going to have this be white space. So what I want to do now actually, let me try something. We're going to make a curves layer. We're going to draw an M like that. And then we're going to have the curves layer there. And then we're going to take our gradient map that we have applied to the vault door as well as that and paste it down here. So now look, he's on a golden floor. I'm gonna use all gold on this, except the golden ratio. Huh. I, I have some plastic wrap I can throw on this Henry, but I'm not going to. I don't know if I've ever used it. This is like kind of cool stuff going on here. So now what I, want, what I want to do, all right, let me put some wrinkled paper on here and see what happens. Let me go here. Let me go to my paper textures. Um, here you go. Here's a paper tear. So I'll go ahead and drag that over. Oh, I guess my computer doesn't like it when I do that, so I'm not going to do that. And I hope your ears didn't just explode from that audio. Um, I'm going to take this gradient map. Let me name this so I know what this is. Signature. Signature. All right, so I'm going with this gold theme because it's the gold, the nuggets. So. I have some gold textures here that you can find on Google or wherever. This one looks good. I'm gonna drag this. I did wait all day to use that. Garrett, I've been waiting to use all of these. I don't know what you're talking about. So here's something interesting that might be helpful. So I want to apply this gold to this layer. So I can clearly just hold down option and click it doesn't do anything. It's because this color overlay supersedes that and anything with nested within this layer is gonna be color overlaid. So I'm just gonna make this a group real quick, title it signature, and now when I do it, it's showing up completely fine. 
So there it is. So I really just want the texture of this. And really, I would get rid of the Gaussian blur and do this. But I'm gonna set this to just luminosity because I just want it to go through. And we're gonna make this another smart object. Now I will blur it with a Gaussian blur set to, I don't know, eight. Is that what it was at? Let's do 10. So we've got that down there. Just for kicks, let's duplicate it, set it to screen, and let's Gaussian blur it again, but like, I don't know, 25. Look, now it's glowing, see? Ooh, it's glowing. I'm gonna do something called save. So I'm gonna save this. Jamal to the desktop, we got that going there. I'm gonna lower the vault door again. I'm gonna group it together and name it vault. Lower it there. I'm gonna group Jamal here. Man, Pony Boy would probably think this is golden. Let's put Jamal back here in the center. And let's do something with these basketballs. Basket balls. Oh man. Uh, man, where do I have it? Let me see if I have something. Bear with me. I'm looking for something that is very important. It's not. Oops. Talk amongst yourselves. Nope, okay. Well, oh, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes I don't name my layers until the very end. Let me show you something that's going to blow your mind. So I hope you're ready. So I'm going to take this basketball here. I'm going to put it in this layer. And I'm going to make him have a golden basketball in his hand. Wow! So let's just make this the same size. Put it down here. It's actually really easy considering you can't see his hand. Move it over, make it a little bit bigger. And look, it's in his hand. How about that? I should use a, a, catch, me out, a catch me outside for that. Okay, let's rotate this a little bit. Just based on how the basketball shadow is on there. And actually, if you can see here currently, um, you can see he's not terribly crispy. This is crispier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna blur this basketball. like 0.75 pixels. I'll slightly blur it so it looks like it's the same. That way it'll look like he's actually dribbling the basketball. What I'm also going to do, I haven't done this in a while. I'm gonna turn this into a smart object. So I'm going to then go to one of my favorite things, go to the blur gallery and go to the path blur. By default, you have one just going over to the side we're going to delete that. So how is he moving? So he's moving this way. The ball is moving up in this trajectory, but the rest of his body is moving this way. So I'm just drawing lines which way I think he's moving. And I'm going to change the speed to like 15. Great. Hit enter. And now we have a really blurry, we have a really blurry Jamal but it's a smart filter, so I can invert the smart filter going here. Change brushes. We're gonna make it smaller. And we're just gonna paint back in 
this happy little tree. So I'm just gonna paint back in what I want to be blurred. So I want, actually I'm gonna make this 100%. So I want the basketball to be blurred. I want part of his arm to be blurred just a little bit. You know, maybe we blur part of his arm here. Whoa, getting away from me. Then maybe we just like brush in a little bit. I'm not gonna blur his foot because his foot is planted. But maybe we just blur part of him running. So now look, he looks like he's moving a little bit more. All right. Let me look something up. So instead of adding X's or plus signs, I like to add stuff that matters, <laughs> like stats. So like how many triple doubles Jamal Murray has, and we can put it in here using these basketballs. So if he has five, we put five on there, and we say he has five, stuff like that. Jamal Murray has zero triple doubles, so, so we're not gonna do that <laughs> because he doesn't have any. So that would be stupid. Um, so we'll do something else then. Russell Westbrook has over 100, you have zero. Let's see here. All right, so we got the basketballs. I'm gonna duplicate this basketball and I'm gonna bring it to the front. Now again, I don't know what these are because I changed them and renamed them. So let me group these together. Signature. Okay, we got some basketballs. Let's put one here. Let's put one right here. And let's put one up there and let's get rid of the other ones. Let's make this one big. And these are all different. They're different basketballs. They're the same, but they're different. Let's put a basketball there. Let's make this one really big and put it like right there. And what are we gonna do? You guessed it. We're gonna Gaussian blur. So I'm gonna set this to like 50. Yep, that one's set to 50. You can hold down the option key and just move the blur over to the other ones. So the other ones are also blurred, but these balls are <laughs> closer to the composition. So I'm gonna make them not as blurred. So that one's 25. This one's even more closer to the background. So I'm gonna make it 20. So now we got ourselves some depth. So we got some basketballs in the front. Let's put some basketballs in the back. Let's get rid of the three I used. Let's make these roughly the same size as the one that Jamal's using. Maybe change that actually and just resize these all at once like a smart person. You know, some NBA and NFL players love Dragon Ball, like Juju. So if you make like a Dragon Ball Z design, they'll probably love it. Like I could switch it up right now and make this a Dragon Ball Z design and start from scratch and it probably would be pretty sweet. So it looks dumb because it doesn't have a shadow. Let's get rid of these. I'm just gonna make these float and do a little bit of depth. Let's put one, so these are behind him. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's grab this one, make it a little bit bigger. You do have the same amount of triple doubles. That is factual. Um, I do want to blur these, but I'm gonna blur these like three. And honestly, just blurring something like three pixels is really gonna make it pop. I hope I said pop well enough for you guys. So sometimes when I'm designing, I'll try and think of what I want to say when I post these, you know? So I might be like, can Jamal Murray open the vault and start get his first triple double of the season? See, we've made it full circle. And there's a big zero in the background that we're using. 
So we've got some of these basketballs floating around. You know, I'll put one there so it looks like it's floating a little bit. Gaussian blurred a bit. So there we've got some floating around. I might move this one up to the corner a bit. Might move this one down. So it's in front of the vault so you can actually see that there's depth. And just sort of play with the positioning of these as well. I'm gonna hit save. What else do we wanna do? I know. Let's go back to our inspiration. Assets. What I'm adding, okay, it's actually a court. So I got this nice basketball court here. I wonder what I'm gonna do with that. I know, let's make it gold because we've made everything else gold. So I'm gonna hop in here, go into the signature real quick, steal that. I don't know where this court went. Let's put it up front, paste. Looks terrible because it's set to luminosity. Let's set it to normal. Clip it to that. We got this nice gold court now. Let's go like this though and act like this is the center of the court and blow this up. Something like that. Why? I don't know. Again, I'm just experimenting. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, court. And we'll put the court back with the vault. Put these together, move them up slightly. to make this a little bit bigger so it actually covers the full court as you can see there we go now we have a little bit of a frame for everything and we hop back here it's a good it is a good thing do you design based on the caption or caption based on the design usually I'll caption based on the design Okay, just for kicks, let's copy this and paste it and mask it to the court. Let's make this small. Bring it down here. Why was I set that to overlay? That looks pretty good. So if I want it underneath the gradient map, squash it down a bit. And then we'll hold down, we'll hold the, the command key to drag these sides out so it has some sort of perspective to it. And since we have that line going down the middle, I can just match up this bottom anchor here. So then it's sort of straight. Look, now the ground is gold-ish, sort of. All right, so we got some cool stuff going on. We got a gold bank fault in the background. We've got a court in the background. Let's see what else I have in these assets. So one thing I like to use is topographic maps actual topographic maps, not generic topographic maps that you found on, I don't know, some website. So this is an actual topographic map of Denver mountains from 1923. So there's Burger Park, um, Buffalo Park, Mount Glennon, Hodgeback, places I've never heard of before. Mount Evans. So let me let you in on a little bit of a secret. <gasps> so you can find these very easily online. And I'll show you right now. Hooray! So I searched topographic map lib.texas.edu. So there's the Perry Castaneda map collection. You can click on that. And then here's a bunch of maps. So I'm gonna scroll down to the United States. I'm from Dayton, Ohio. So let's go to Ohio. I can go down here. And here's Dayton in 1904. So if I zoom in here, 
I can see that this is where Dayton is at the very bottom here. Now what you can do is you can click on the index and some of them will have indexes and they do it by county. So I would select Dayton. So it has Dayton and then Waynesville. So if I wanted the full, I would have to download Dayton and Waynesville just from where I'm from based on what I know. Like I live down here, right here at the Southern part of this Waynesville one. So I would have to go back if I wanted to find where I live and find Waynesville, Waynesville. So then here's a topographic map from 1945. So then if I go down here, I can try and find my house somewhere, but we don't need to do that. So I always search lib.utexas.edu and that's how you can find them. Um, and most of those should be free to use because it's from 1945. So that's where it is. So what I'm gonna do with this is, let's set it to multiply, let's throw it in the background. That looks kind of cool. Let's throw a gradient map on top of it. And I just want some texture. So now it's just a little bit of texture in the background. You can see a little bit better this that I have there but I want that to be behind this. So I want that there. And then I can move it down. Oh, hold on. Move it down two pixels, three pixels, four pixels. There we go. There's a bunch of topographic maps you can find online. Um, that's just one that I've used and found. Let's see here. Ooh, I hope you guys heard that. That was amazing. Okay, so what do we want to do now? So this is gold, so I'm going to go to adjustments. I'm going to select another color lookup. There's one in here called edgy amber, which is going to make everything super gold. I'm going to make that, let's set that to soft light and make it like 25%. So you can see it just gives everything a little bit more of an amber hue. Everything's a little bit more golden. So that's nice. And actually, this, this basketball needs to be in the front. We're gonna move that to these basketballs. So it's in front of him. Whoops, let's not move the whole thing. I'm sorry, what? Can we get a quick streamer fit check? I received literally ones of requests for it. I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm gonna just ignore what you said because I can't. All right, let's have this be right there, but we'll move it slightly. Yeah, something like that. I have Chicago Bears sweatpants on because, you know, the Chicago Bears. The Bears! The Bears! You asked for it. Yeah, I know. I'm not dumb, Dan. I'm just completely ignoring you for obvious reasons. I actually have a, I have a Los Angeles Lakers sweatshirt on because Kobe. Um... What do we want to do? One thing I know I want to do is I want to move the signature down like 10 pixels. That's better. I want to put Big Jamal back in here. Where's Big Jamal? No, I don't. I don't want to put him back in here. That looks bad. So we got Jamal Murray there. So let me go back to my inspiration which we've used none of, and it's completely pointless. Oh yeah, 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 I wanted to do something with this. Bev apparently hates the sound effects, but she can deal with it. 
You can have your own sound effects on your own YouTube channel. All right, let's add some like pointless text for no reason. We got some Jamal Murray text here. Let's just do some like real basic stuff. We'll just do like Helvetica. No, I don't want to do that. What do I want to do here? So we've got them all set up. Put them in the middle here. Let's see, would that help? Okay, let's add some lighting to this. So we can go to my assets, stock images, lighting, my favorite thing to use ever. Whoop. All right, let's on everything. I want to behind the signature, get rid of the text. Let's blow this bad boy up. Like that's super new and super current. Stop being sus. All right, so what I like to do with this is use it as a lighting source. So I'm gonna select, I'm gonna make, select, wow. Set it to multiply. And I'm gonna drop this down onto our floor here. So I've got it on the floor. I'm gonna mask it out except for the bottom portion. So really what I'm doing is I'm just making a sort of dark area here at the bottom. I'll see if I can fix the lagging issues for next stream. Or I'll just buy a new computer. That might help too. It's probably because I'm doing more stuff here in Photoshop and my computer's like, hey guy, stop it. Let me know if it continues to be an issue and I'll see if I can fix it. Free fonts as American captain for sports design, please, guys. I don't understand what you're trying to say. So I duplicated the bottom. <laughs> I'm glad it hopped back on so you could hear it destroy your ears completely. So I masked at the bottom so it's just showing the bottom part and I'm gonna invert the other one so it's just showing the top part here. And then I'm gonna drag this down. So now you can see we've got some lighting on him. Now obviously we can't see anything else we did and we don't want that. So I'm gonna use a levels layer and then I'm gonna drag this up a little bit and drag this over. There we go. So now we've got some lighting here. Maybe I set this to like 66%. So we have a little bit of lighting. So what I want this on, let me think of how I want to do this. So now that we've created a light source from above, we need to make sure it matches everything else. I'm probably gonna do this and then that's probably all I'm gonna get to. So let's go Jamal and let's do some speed lighting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set adjustments. I'm gonna use a curves layer. I'm gonna, what I'm doing is I'm using a reverse curves technique. So I'm gonna boost up the bottom I'm going to have it only select and affect the light portions. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. All right, so let's invert this. So we've got lighting coming from above. So I'm going to paint anywhere that lighting is coming from up top. I'm using a brush at like 20%. And this is just going to brighten up everything that it touches so I'm just going to touch up stuff that the light would be hitting realistically from above 
And I'm using a light brush because you're gonna be able to see the effect pretty easily. I'm gonna drag this in just a little bit. There we go. I, uh, I'm glad you got some use out of that yellow fix action. Uh, Darian, this song is looped to infinity. So it's gonna just continuously loop forever. <laughs> All right, so we've got, I'm gonna paint right here. I don't wanna paint down here. I might paint right here on this side here, maybe a little bit around his knee for some bleeding. Okay, we got that there. And then we're gonna do the same for the bottom, for the darkening. So we're gonna darken parts of it. So we'll go in here and we'll just paint what's underneath. Again, maybe I, I will get rid of just a little bit of this top so it's not super light. The issue is he's wearing black, so. I keep getting these error notifications and I do not know why. Paint here. And usually I would take a lot of time doing this the more you do it, the more it's actually, you're actually gonna be able to tell that there's a lighting source and it's gonna sell the lighting a lot more. So, you know, we'll put it on some of his face, take some of it off, because it looks bad. So let me just show you what this did. Before, after. That doesn't look like much, but it is. Then I'm going to Select Jamal here. I'm going to go up to Select, Modify, Contract. I'm gonna do three pixels and zoom in. Actually, I'm going to do Select, Modify, Contract, five pixels. I'm gonna make a new curves layer. I'm gonna bump up the bottom completely like this. That's too much, let's just go to that first area. Clip it, that looks amazing. I'm gonna invert that so it's just doing this glow around the edges and then I'm gonna feather it like, I don't know, four or five. So I'm gonna go back out. If I turn that on and off, you can see that has a little bit of a glow around him. Now it's doing it to his shadow, which I don't want because that looks stupid. So I need to get his shadow out of here, that's better. So what I wanna do now I want to do the same thing for these basketballs. I'm just trying to think of how I actually want to go about doing that. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to group this together, shade in front. Yeah, I got rid of the other one because I didn't like how it looked. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this. All right, so let's create a mask. Let's convert this to a smart object. Select the whole thing, go up here. With a soft, real soft brush, let's do five. I'm gonna mask away parts that are touching the area. So I'm gonna select a different basketball. I'm just gonna brush away parts of that area. Hello, Elijah. Welcome. So we're going to brush these away. So, so what I'm doing is I'm just getting rid of the areas that are hypothetically darkening in this. I don't want it to darken it anymore. So I'm going to do it for these three basketballs mainly. But no, I'm not. Looks like I've got these basketballs in the back as well. Where are they at? Here we go. So I'm gonna select these individually. Let me collapse some of the stuff so I can see what I'm doing. And then we'll paint over the area we want to make brighter. Same deal right here. 
then this one right here. And then let's see if this will work. Select that selection, make an adjustment, curves, and just boost everything up, except invert it. So now it's brightening areas that are just being hit by the light. Alex, I'm going to add a lens flare. You are 100% right. I'm gonna add a bunch of lens flares. It's really gonna sell it. Okay, let's do that. I wanna add a little bit of color to this curves layer. I'm gonna boost up the reds and decrease the blues. That should give me a nice gold color. Maybe add a little bit of green. Too much. There we go. Okay, now we don't have some white space. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to make Jamal a lot bigger. Jamal. And we're gonna move him over a little bit. Lauren wants to hear the bears. Stop bears. Stop bears. All right, I'm gonna take this shade in the front. I'm gonna make it even less apparent. Okay, 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 good, good, good. The J.J. Abrams treatment. I'm gonna give it the voodoo treatment because I guess he's the king of uh, he's the king of lens flares. You know what these balls need to do? Talking delicately. They need to be moving. So I need these basketballs to be jumping up and down. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give a little bit of a motion effect, strobe, and I want the effect I don't want a centered blur, I want it to taper off the other way. So we'll delete it and go like this. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm using a 27 inch screen, so I mean, it's, it's actually kind of big. Damn it, this is a perfect time for me to have, that's what she said on here. I'm gonna have to add that. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna convert these to smart objects and blur them all the exact same way as the other one. Come on. The issue with smart filters is sometimes they can take a while. I planned on cutting this at 8.30. So I have six minutes to continue what I want to do. Okay, that's not gonna work. So we're not gonna do that. Let's get rid of the blur gallery. I'm getting complaints that people low key hate this song, but their opinions don't matter, right? I'm just kidding, Bev. And she's gonna say you guys have no idea what I'm talking about because this is a Twitter group, but it's fine. Okay, I wanna add some flares. Look at all these lens flares. I actually wanna add some light overlays. I guess I gotta add stuff that's like not old. Okay, I, I hate how this looks. I usually use bridge, but Dan was giving me shit for using bridge. So now I'm trying to see what any of these are. So I've got some floaters here. So let's just float some stuff in the front. This one looks pretty good. Do this, do this, set it to screen, go to adjustments, go to levels, attach it to that, get rid of that. Put some of this back on it. Wow, you can't see that at all. There we go. That's bad. Uh, let's go in here.
can just mask out anything that hits his face because people like to complain about stuff hitting people's faces like that. For kicks, oh, where are they? Lens dirt. I do love me some lens darts. Let me toss one of these on there. Just adds a lot of depth. Do one of these. Set it to screen. Put a levels adjustment on top of that. Oh yeah, that looks nice. That's a little too much. I want it faint. And then I'm gonna go to adjustments. I'm gonna go to, go to edgy amber. Attach it to that. Look at that, it's gold. Love it. And then a couple of other last things. Lighting. Nope, not in there. I also made the mistake of organizing this stuff. So now I don't know what anything is. Let's use this one. Yeah. Me and my lens dirt, I put that shit on everything. Oh, look at this. We've got a light source coming from the top and look, we've got this light here that we can put coming from the top. Except I need to do a little bit of that. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so this looks pretty cool. I think we're going to call it here with this as the design we're using. So I'm going to do some final, final tweaks. I'm going to make a new layer. Merge everything together. So I have a new layer. I'm going to convert it to a smart object. I'm going to go to, go to filter. Let's do lens correction. I like to do a lens correction. You can't see any of this. I like to do a lens correction of like three. Yeah, let's do five. Let's do 15. There we go. So it warps everything a little bit. And then I'm going to go to filter. Let's go to camera raw. Let's just tweak a couple things in here. A little bit more contrast. Let's dehaze it a little bit. Let's change the temperature so it's a little warmer. Maybe not. Boost the highlights, decrease the shadows, add a little bit of texture, boost that vibrance up. Uh, optics, let's add a little bit more distortion. There we go. And maybe a little bit of a vignette. And then just make this like 103%. And there, there we go. Let's actually go back to that lens correction I did. Go to custom and let's mess around with the chromatic aberration just because it's real fun to do that. Hit enter. Jamal, Jamal Murray graphic. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot. I had a blast showing you guys how to do this. So uh, make sure next time I do one of these. You know, I'm going to do some question and answers. I'm going to do um, live demos. So if you want me to show something just in depth, I'm going to do those. So, you know, let me know in the, on Twitter, on a DM. I'll probably throw some polls out there. But let, let me know what you guys want to see next. And thank you for joining me. Um, this was fun to do. I'm going to do this at least once a week. Probably going to do this on every Tuesday. I might add another day in there. Just so we can do something like this but over two days just so we can flesh out some more creative ideas with it. But uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys next week.